Hello. So I just had a client this last hour who came to me with what I lovingly call a high heel hangover. So she was at a party last night and she wore high heels even in the grass, which they were a little chunky. They weren't a spike, but regardless, I can understand that there was a whole chain reaction of her body as a result. So I wanted to give a couple of my favorite tips for how to heal, pun intended, a high heel hangover. So most of it really has to do with the half foam roller, my biggest favorite prop. So the lesson I gave her, which I'll tell you, is when from like a, just a cross training standpoint, when you're wearing a high heel shoe, it's essentially that you're walking downhill. And the longer you wear it, it's just a prolonged exposure of either standing or walking downhill because your heel is elevated, your toes are dropped, it mimics downhill walking. If you've ever gone to a concert and you've been like on a sloped surface toward the stage, you totally know what I'm talking about. A raked stage, it's the same thing. If you've ever stood, it like does not feel good on your body. So throw in a high heel over a period of hours the same thought process so the exact opposite of that would be going uphill hence the half foam roller to do calf stretching so what you do hopefully you can see me is that you would take the half foam roller or just a rolled up mat that works really well too and you would put one of your feet so the ball of your foot is up on the ridge and then your heel is down on the floor and you would stretch so you'd be cross training your foot uphill. I like to play around with bending and straightening my knees, adding a little bit of a twist, doing all kinds of fancy extra moves. And then you would want to make sure that you do it on the other side as well. So again, you're just cross training the impact of being downhill for a number of hours. So you hold, you breathe, you can bend and straighten your knees. I sometimes add a little rotation. There's all kinds of fancy things that I have on my YouTube channel for free of just some fun cross training. And then my second thing would be a double calf stretch. You can still use the half foam roller or roll up mat. Hopefully you can see this, but um, you would take your prop and you would put it on the floor, probably about a foot or so away from some sort of surface, either a desk or a chair. Um, and you're gonna walk both of your feet on either the rolled up mat or the half foam roller. If you have the shorty half foam roller, I let my pinky toes hang off the edges. And then you're just going to lean yourself forward and stretch both your calves. You're trying to keep a flat low back, but for now we're just really thinking about the feet and the calves. Again, you can bend and straighten your knees, kind of pumping the ankles and the Achilles. You can rock your hips from side to side. That's one of my favorite moves. Um, but anything you can do to, again, sort of cross train that downhill position for a number of hours, especially like if you're at a party, which is first one. Hi, there's lots of people on. Hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah, so just my favorite sort of um, healing <laughs> exercises for a high heel hangover. I want you to have fun this summer and I don't want you to hurt. So here's how you can address that. Try it, let me know how it goes. And then I will try to link to my YouTube channel in my bio to uh, show you all the other little calf stretching moves. All right, happy Friday. Take care, bye.